haven't done vlogmas in five years one two three four <laughs> i was like well, what better time kind of a lot going in my, on in my life right now and we'll address that in this video i promise you we will address it <laughs> okay but i was like i need something to keep me busy keep my mind off of like we're doing vlogmas this year that just is what it is can i say that we're gonna make it all the way through the vlogmas the whole 25 day? i don't know i miss a couple days they might fall off but I'm gonna try my absolute hardest. Like when I say I'm gonna do something, I really try to do it with my whole heart. I'm gonna try, I remember last time I did Vlogmas, I was like, I will never do that again because I had so many technical difficulties. Like when you're using the technology every single day, like the editing software and stuff, but hopefully I'm praying to the vlog, the Vlogmas gods that we do not have any problems and this goes smoothly. This morning I just went and got my coffee three days in a row. I'm three days in a row for Lala. I like hadn't been in so long so I was like oh I'm just gonna get it you know one day yeah one day turns into three and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with their coffee and their avocado toast so we need to go grocery shopping today because babes I need to be making avocado toast at home. There's no reason I'd be paying $11 for avocado toast. What the hell is that? I don't even know. Anyways, happy Vlogmas. I'm so excited you're here. I'm so excited we're doing Vlogmas. You're probably shooting your pants at the title, just like I am. It's been five years. What? That doesn't even sound real. I can't even believe I've been doing YouTube that long. I've been making videos since 2016, literally. Yesterday, I did like a mega reset on the entire house. Like, I'm talking clean my sheets. I shaved my legs, too. I was like, oh, clean sheets? That means I have to shave my legs because that combo it's deadly. The clean sheets with the shaved legs combo, oh my god. Like, every time I clean my sheets, I shave my legs because that is like the best sleep of my life. I was sitting, I was rubbing my toes together, okay? Like, it was that good. We're gonna have a day. We're gonna have a time today. Do some makeup real quick before we head on out of here. I thought we would do a little get ready with me. Also, we're gonna talk about the tea. Loki prep my face because my face gets so stinking dry. Also, like, do I want to do my makeup in this getup right now? Hold on. Changed into this like this bodysuit, but I cut it because like, why is this only a bodysuit? These things from Pumi are so good, but Pumi, make regular long sleeves. Like, what are y'all? Y'all are literally fumbling the bag on this, like. This is like the nicest, butteriest, softest material ever, and they only make body suits. I'm gonna prep my skin with the Tatcha water cream mixed with this vitamin C serum. It's like so dry to the point where I don't even wash it in the morning because it just dries me out. I'm gonna prep it a little bit for some makeup. When I don't need to wear makeup, like I won't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Past like five years I'd say I've gotten really comfortable with like my natural face a lot of people think you look crusty without makeup but like babes like that's your face <laughs> like nobody needs to come on here looking done up all the time if that's what you like to do then period go off I love that for you but like I don't feel the need to do that you know what I'm saying we're gonna do my makeup right now I need to go to Trader Joe's and Target look at Pepper's little sweater she looks so cute my mom got me these sweaters for them my mom actually came home last night she came home a little bit earlier than she was expecting to you guys will probably be seeing her in vlogmas let's just dive right into it and get into the makeup the tea i know y'all want to hear it you're probably like bitch shut up like just tell us this is like literally stuck together i love this product but it sticks so bad the 24-hour brow setter by benefit like, look at this <laughs> ah! this is the lottie mega brow i'm pretty sure that this is like a walmart brand if i'm not mistaken and their products are super affordable and really good you know what you guys are here here for the tea i'm gonna give it to you because i know a lot of people in my last two videos have been asking me so many people are confused about where he went so he did move back home 
I wish like there was more tea to spill, but there's really not. There wasn't any drama, there wasn't any tea, there wasn't any like big, you know, kind of one of those things where we're not growing together. Like, what are we doing? I know you guys are concerned about me and I want to keep you guys in the loop, obviously, because I share so much of my life. We weren't progressing. Like, things were kind of just we're having the same issues that we were having when we first started dating. I wanted to keep it like a little private because it's like been going on for a while. Um, But I wanted to like keep it private. But now I know so many of y'all are like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I have to make the right decisions for me. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. This year has been not the easiest for me. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of been one of those things where it's like one thing after the next thing, after the next thing, after the, and I'm like, God, can I get a break? If you're listening to me up there, like I can't handle much more. I'm like such a person who like tries to stay positive in every scenario and every situation. But like sometimes it's so hard when you just keep feeling like you're getting dragged down and it's honestly miserable in a way. Like it's to the point where I'm like being toxic positivity to my fucking self. I'm like, everything's great. Everything's good everything's fine. Like when people ask me how I am, I'm like, I literally want to cry and die. But like, I am just like, it's so good, you know? Like, because that's just who I am as a person. Like I'm just, po like I just genuinely am positive. So like, it's hard to like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. How to like let people in and see your emotions. And Why did it shave my skin? Dash, I thought I did, but I missed a spot. I'm kind of going through it, but I'm getting better day by day. Oh my God, the deers. Oh my God, they're so cute. Do you see them? Like, oh my God, they're so cute. I love them. Oh my God, I love them. They're literally so fucking cute. They're really so cute. Every time I talk to them, they stare at me. I heard that that's like good luck or something. Like when I talk to them, like sometimes they're really close, like right here. And I'll talk to them and they'll literally just look at me and I'm like, I love you. Always the three of them too. It's like a mom, a, a daddy, and a baby. I'm trying to just be happy. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask? It's kind of just since Harley died, it's honestly been like one spiraling terrible thing after the next. And I still haven't even fully like processed um like losing harley so it's like every time something else happens i'm like i actually like, cannot handle this like sorry you couldn't have cried while you were doing your fucking eyebrows anyways i feel like what's meant to be in my life just will be you know i'm a really like big believer in that and i believe that god has my back god's timing is always right and i feel like harley has my back and everybody else up there that's working for me I feel like i'm gonna be okay sometimes life is just hard emotionally i have like a really hard time like dealing with my emotions so i've always been that way because i'm really bad at communicating like it's crazy like you would think i'm so good at communicating because i literally can sit and talk to a camera for five years no in my actual life very bad at communication like it's something that i'm working on it's really one of my i don't want to say something i'm insecure about something that i just know is like a downfall for me and i, and I am working to get better at it even like i was telling um somebody a couple weeks ago like I used to be really good at like words of affirmation. I have completely gotten so bad at that. I think it might be like a fear of like rejection or something. But even if I think something positive in my head about somebody, I won't say it out loud. So I'm trying to get better at that. That's like something I'm really, really working on. Like I think so many positive things about people in my brain daily. I'm trying to get better at expressing like, oh, I thought this really nice thing about this person. I'm going to say it out loud. That gives me so much fucking anxiety. It's really easy for me to compliment on physical things about people. Oh, you look so pretty. Your hair looks so good. But like commenting on people's like character is really hard for me. And I feel like it. what I'm saying is not making any fucking sense. You guys know like a month ago I went to that Princess Polly 
not Princess Polly, White Fox event. The girl that I had went with, I've been friends with her. Literally, she was my first friend in LA. We met in acting class. I was talking to somebody in a conversation, like just whatever, you know, kicking, whatever, back and forth with the, with the bouncer people that worked at the front door. And she was like, you're so, you're such good with people. Like you're so good with people. Like you just have such a vibe about you that you're just so friendly and good with people. Do you know how good that made me feel about myself? Then when we were inside, she said, you're so funny, like you genuinely make me laugh so hard. Like I love hanging out with you because you make me laugh. And I'm like, I, when I think those things about people, I want to say them. Like genuinely it was that situation right there where she was honestly like giving me my flowers type of situation where I was like, I wanna be doing that for people too. Cause I think these things in my brain and I don't say them out loud. Do you get what I'm saying? And I, I don't know why, but like she's very good at that. So when she was like saying it to me, I was just like, I want to be that person for people too. And I'm just not, even though I'm, I think them in my head, I just don't say it out loud. And so, yeah, that's like something that I've really been like, learning about myself and like reflecting you know life you're just like learning shit about yourself all the time which is like crazy but kind of cool in a way you know what i mean because i didn't really know that was a problem for me until it was like presented in front of my face and i was like wow i have a problem with that like i have a like it gives me anxiety to like compliment people's personal attribute not not physical i'm fine with complimenting people on a physical level like i have no problems with that personality like if i don't know it's crazy this stuff is tea this is the one size on on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray whoa that was a whole mouthful this is really good and the fact that it matches my nails per we need to get my nails done soon actually also this lip combo is here to slay the day away the one size they sent me pr it's really really good this is the one size rent do okay and I did not know what that's called. That's so cute. It's rent due. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. Honey Tox. Is it Honey Tox? Oh, that's so cute. So rent due and Honey Tox. This combo is insanity. Okay, I'm going to brush my teeth, do my lip combo, and then I will see y'all when I see y'all, which will be at Target. In Target, I found Christmas pajamas. <laughs> Cause the ones I have from last year, like one of them isn't cute and then the other one like doesn't fit my ass. <laughs> so found these. These ones like match my sheets. So I thought these could be cute, but also the red with the flannel, I love. So I'm gonna, I'm only gonna get one, but I need to make a decision because I think I might do the green. Cause I already have red ones. My other ones are flannel and red, even though they don't fit. <laughs> this is the last one of the green and the medium. So, but it's like plush. Like it's not like their original like flannel. So anyways, we'll see. Not at all what I came in here to get, but it's fine. All right, y'all. I am not impressed by their holiday section. Probably cause there's like literally nothing on the shelves, but look at it. It just looks so sad. Like <laughs> I saw a candle that I liked, but it's like, what's the point? Oh, they got the Stanleys too. Let's see, look. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nothing. Is like catching my eye, you know what I'm saying? Like, usually I come to Target and there's like they have so much cute Christmas stuff, but not this year. Like, what are y'all doing? I just feel like nothing this year is that cute, you know? Or maybe everybody just bought everything, but yeah, even the pillows. Like, I wanted new pillows, but this one's kind of cute actually. I like this one, but I don't like, is it cute though? not that cute all right gonna get another one of these because the girls like them so let's put those in the cart so fish oil for them because they're out of their salmon oil my mom wanted vegan mayo so got her that i'm gonna get them these no rawhide bags that they love little pepper fucks these up loves them literally loves them so i'm gonna get those i need to find my booty wipes. I think I want different ones this time. Maybe like different scent because I always use the same ones. So I'm going to get the dude wipes or the rose ones. Got the rose good wipes. There's so many people in here. I'm like trampling over everybody. These are the rods that I need. These are literally the exact same ones <laughs> that I threw out. Or I don't know if I threw them out but I literally cannot find them. They are so expensive. They used to be like $7 when I got them like years ago. But I want to try the viral blowout thing because my hair just ugh, 
it's so hard to get my hair to work with anything so hopefully with these and i literally have these i just don't know where they are so into the cart they go so many people were telling me to try this and said that it really helped them so i want to try it i just don't know I don't know i've heard mixed reviews but so many people said giddy girl it works and you know i'm doing the rosemary water for my hair and it's helping like it's helping so bad so i think i'm gonna get this only 10 bucks really i thought it was gonna be like 20 bucks oh my god this brand is so good if you have curly or wavy hair the, the carol's daughter this shit is so good it smells amazing like curly or wavy hair so good so good i used to use their leave-in conditioner or the condition it's so freaking good like literally so good i think the black vanilla is the one i used to use chef's kiss oh my gosh personally i think but anyways yeah let me get this pink trash bags last thing on my list these smell amazing by the way like besides the fact that they're pink i would have just bought them just for that but these smell so good they're definitely the best of the of the like fragrance ones because they have um the green ones which is citrus and lime and then they have beachside breeze oh and then they have gain this one too oh and they have fresh clean god damn they have a lot but this one that one smells the best we're done now now i need to go to trader joe's and get my food so yeah let's go target and trader joe's haul huh? because i know the girls want to know even though you saw pretty much everything i got at target I'm giving you a haul because I don't know if you saw everything. And then I never film in Trader Joe's. So first I got their kibble. Even though I'm going to start feeding them, making them crock pot meals again, I always want to make sure I have some of their kibble on hand. Pink Febreze bags. These literally the last one. Hopefully they fit because it's a medium. But this brand, their stuff runs kind of big. So, but I thought it was cute because it's going to match my sheet. I just thought it was so cute. So we have to wear these tonight. I always get the Coco, the Shea and Coco ones, which I love. Those are my favorite, but it's nice to switch it up. Size matters. Extra large wipes. <laughs> I love that they say that. I was literally telling them in the last vlog about how I always get sick when you're gone. Aww. It's so weird. And then I was saying we must be connected in some way. It's you're like, connected. Because it's like she comes you back. Some fucking no, I just mean like on another level you know what i'm trying to say i feel better since i've been back every time we get into an argument and she gets so dramatic and she's like i'm just gonna leave and i'm like bitch you couldn't fucking live without me i couldn't live without you like please like stop the dramatics or think about my mom she's an actress okay she is a drama queen and we love that for her because I'm a drama queen too. So anyways, where, where do you think I get it from? Like period. Frosty Paws, they love these things so bad. If you want a little treat for your fur babies, they love these. I always like just have them share one of them and they just like all take turns. They, they love them and then they last longer. Hair rods, I'm gonna use this tonight. We're literally gonna try this little hack tonight. Like put them in a sock, roll it up. I don't know. I don't know. I've seen it, so I'm really excited to try Epsom salt because I want to soak Pepper's feet um, because I think her little her little nails and her little bones, like, I could tell they kind of bother her a little bit. Not, like, too much, but a little bit, so I thought, like, maybe, you know, a weekly little Epsom salt bath. I used to have to give Harley Epsom salt. I used to have to so soak Harley's feet, so, yeah, I'm going to have to do that for her. And then I got them this because they like this in their food. It's wild fish oil. And they, I ran out of their last one. So I'm going to try this one. They like a lot of the treats from the Kindful. This is like a Target brand for pets. So yeah, got that. Hair, the rosemary oil. I'm excited to try this. So many of y'all recommended that I get this from my ball spot. <laughs> so I got it. And I got your vegan mayo. Oh, you did? Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> so I okay. got that. My baby love me, Maggles. My baby love me. I told you guys about my whole situation with my period and everything going on and it seems like it's going away like getting better like I'm not having the you know heavy bleeding haven't had the the pains in my legs you know all that stuff going on but for the past couple days I stopped eating meat because I was reading that all the added hormones and everything like in all the animal products really like people with PCOS are more susceptible to like you know all the hormones and everything that's that's in 
like the food that I'm eating and so yeah I haven't been eating it and I felt so much better like genuinely I feel 12 times better than what I was feeling like last week like I was going through it my body was going through it I was not feeling good so yeah for a while I'm just gonna stop I go through phases where I eat meat and don't eat meat and right now I'm in the phase of I'm not eating any meat I feel like it doesn't make me feel good like genuinely it's the cheapest trader I've never only spent $40 at Trader Joe's when she said $40 I was like are you kidding it's my $40 Trader Joe's haul two bananas because I've been making these really good yogurt parfaits I got this oh my god I was praying they would have something like this and they did it's a tiki masala curry sauce I'm gonna make up tofu carrot what is that Vietnamese place we used to go to it's not even there anymore is it Le Cheval my mom and I used to go to this Vietnamese restaurant. <laughs> this like curry, would you call it a soup? I don't even know. It had like chicken, um, carrots. Oh, this is so long ago. This is like 10 years ago when I was like in high school. And they used to, oh my God, it was so good. And so I want to like recreate that with potatoes, tofu, carrots, like this whole thing. You use like coconut milk, I don't know. But I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna use this and I just thought that this would be so freaking good. So I got some super firm tofu. These are my favorite bars right now. I don't know, the macro bars, the oatmeal chocolate chips. I got two of those. Another little, I got two tuna wraps. Does tuna count as meat? Uh, tuna is. It's a seafood, right? It is a seafood. Seafood, yeah. I got these because they put lemon zest on the avocado toast that I get in the morning. That is a game changer. Such a game changer. So good. So I got lemons, got avocados, got this, which I thought sounded so good. It's a peppermint mocha latte. I got some pita bread too, because I want to make these little like tzatziki um, pitas. So I got the vegan tzatziki dip, which is the best. It's the best one. It's better than the original tzatziki dip that they sell at trader joe's like get the vegan one it is so good i prefer it over the original um cucumbers to put on my little pitas these carrots okay so usually i am really into the the regular carrots that's like in the bag but did you know that those are soaked in bleach what those little baby peeled carrots that just come in the bag i didn't know that i didn't know that either so, I don't know somebody I was watching on TikTok and somebody like a health nutritionist person and then I seen somebody else say it too and I was like wait a minute I love those carrots you know what we need to go to the farmer's market we need to go to the fucking farmer's market and it's like I've heard this stuff before but it's like now that I'm having this whole thing with my period I'm like oh it's time to get serious it's time to really crack down because it was scaring me a little bit. I am gonna see a doctor though, don't worry, it's already in the works. We need to go to the farmer's market. So, but I bought these carrots because these are organic and apparently these carrots are not soaked in bleach. So, if you buy those little peeled carrots, yeah, those are soaked in bleach. What the actual heck is that? I did not know, but literally I've seen two people talk about it in the last week and I'm like, gross. Gross, there goes my <laughs> carrots. This thing I got is pumpkin gnocchi. But I love gnocchi so much. And I tried to do like the the cauliflower gnocchi. No, I don't like that. It tastes weird to me. It tastes like feet. It tastes like feet. This sauce too for the gnocchi. Ah! The heck was that? I don't know if I'm gonna use this on the gnocchi. It's a black truffle alfredo sauce. I felt like not eating meat would make me hungrier. It actually doesn't. As long as I'm drinking water and you know eating the right things, I'm actually haven't been hungry at all. Like I feel like I've been feeling my body good. The first time I had tried this brand was when they sent me PR like a couple weeks ago. Oh, y'all seen, I literally used it today. I used the lip liner and the setting spray. Oh, they sent me some more goodies. We have to try these out tomorrow. So it won't be in this vlog, so it'll be in the next one. But this BB cream, I am so excited. It looks like it's gonna be my perfect shade. I am like just literally so excited. So we got a BB cream, 
we got a makeup magnet primer what i really want to try because everybody says this powder is insanity this is the ultimate setting powder in translucent and then we also got a foundation powder which i'm really excited because they do love um, powder foundation I used to be obsessed with the Bare Minerals. I actually want, kind of want to go back to the Bare Minerals. It just, oh my God, it's so flawless. It is chef's kiss. But I'm so excited to try this out. So we will have to try this out tomorrow. I'm literally so stinking excited. It's gonna be my new powder, okay. And then I also, I literally shit myself. I literally shit myself when I seen this. <laughs> um, Where is the other thing? Hold on. Drew Barrymore. <laughs> she sent me some i love drew barrymore like if you know me if you know you know she's literally one of my favorite actresses ever like of all time it sent me her shit i'm like literally dying over this so this is like one of each thing that they sent me because i put the rest of it well i gave some of it to my mom and then i put the rest of it in for pr for a pr giveaway so i'm keeping this deep red it's a matte velvety matte lip it looks gorgina we have to do a makeup look with this like for christmas oh you're kidding this pucker lip mask it says soothing lip treatment with a kiss of color and then this this is so good this is plump up gloss stick it's a little bit it's i wouldn't even say it's tingly it's like almost cooling like like almost like a peppermint oil like a peppermint patty it is so stinking i love this this is definitely going in my purse in my bag like this it's so sleek like it's just a little you like pump it from the bottom like this oh, to die to die i haven't tried anything else so i can't give my review on like the when well, my mom put this on it looked so good on my mom it was like a neutral like nude i haven't used this yet the lip mask it's called petal pout so yeah her brand is called flower so cute tell me why <laughs> i have no brain cells i got it the package says flower by drew tell me why you know but justin bieber his brand is called drew right tell me why i thought justin bieber sent me weed <laughs> I need help i was a pleasant surprise opening this package it's called flower and i love her so much i need to go through my everyday makeup and get rid of some of this stuff i was gonna do it right now but i was like oh i'm not feeling the vibes like this don't buy this dior show love dior don't get me wrong a lot of their stuff and products i use but this mascara don't care for it there are so many better mascaras out there like i just thought it was gonna be a hit and babe it wasn't it was a miss you know what i'm saying i have another bag with like extra stuff in it that i use so one of these days we will clean out my makeup to get rid of old crusty products and make room for the new products also there's like 18 blushes in my one bag who needs that many blushes i'd use the same blush every day my hair has never been so soft in my life it's insanity if you are not making rosemary water for your hair you need to start immediately and then you know what i started doing too I was reading that the baby shampoo is like one of the best shampoos you can use for your hair. I think that mixed with the rosemary water. So I've been using baby shampoo. Let me show you the exact one that I use. Johnson's baby shampoo. I don't know. I've been using it and my hair has literally never been softer in my entire life. Like I can't even believe that there was heat damage on it like two weeks ago because it just feels insane oh she's so cute y'all she is turning into such a good girl like quite the good girl if i do say so myself like i'm like damn i'm really parenting the shit out of her I'm such a lamp person like i need to get a lamp for this bathroom because like this is the vibes is it i mean it's kind of like yellow but like i don't like this why is that like hospital lighting as fuck? Like, I need a lamp in here. Like, one, a tall one. You know what I mean? Like, floor lamp. Maybe we should do that sometime this week because I can't, I can't stand it. I really cannot. And I have a salt lamp in here, but it's like not enough light to when like I'm taking a shower. And like, this is just so harsh to me. Same with this. Like, I just. Am I the only one that's like not a fan? I can't do, I've seen a lot of people talk about this. I always say this, like I cannot do the big lights in the house. No, I am a lamp person like through and through. I'm realizing that like in the bathroom, I'm low key like this too. 
So we need to get a lamp. Like there is just absolutely no way that we cannot have a lamp in here because this to me is like the vibe. Like when I'm doing my skincare at night, like, oh, this is just the vibe to me. Like this is putting me to rest. We need to do some skincare and my hair because we're going to do this viral blowout. We need like mega skincare to the rescue. I actually think that I might need to pop open even like a different moisturizer to wear like I need like a thick one. Let me actually go try and find one from my PR cabinet and I'll be back. This is the one that I chose. There was a whole other box that I didn't even go through. I was like, I'm too tired for this. Like, just give me a fucking moisturizer. This is La Roche-Posay Ultra Night Soothing Repair Moisturizer. So I think this is gonna be good because this is what I need. Like just a mega, mega moisturizer. I feel like all the ones that I'm using right now are more like a summer moisturizer for me. I need like a winter moisturizer, if that makes sense. Like if you have dry skin, like you know, you know. Hopefully it's good. We'll see. So I'm just going to, oh, what is that? Oh, it was making noises. Anyways, I need a lot, babes. Like my face is stiff. As a freaking board right now. And we're gonna go in with the um, dewy hydration layer, the peptide from Rode. So I didn't use this last night. Did I even do my skincare last night? I don't think I did, which is so crazy because I've been on an insane routine. Like, even when I left and went to the bay, I was still doing my skincare. Like, that's how you know it's getting serious. <laughs> I've been like so consistent with a night routine and my skincare so i'm actually really proud of my like kudos to me i'm so proud of myself for that we're going to do this hair now i'm gonna throw on some laneige lip sleeping mask this tub has lasted me forever i've had this two years literally my mom bought me a new one because when i moved to florida she pulled my purse out of the car and this fell out and she didn't tell me till a week later she's like something pink rolled out of your bag like what was that it wasn't until like months later when i was frantically searching for this and couldn't find it i'm like oh i know what rolled out of my bag i know what it was so she bought me another one it lasts like it's worth the price because it lasts and it's so good i hope the rods fit in here i might have to get bigger socks but you're gonna take like three of these jumbo rods, stick them in the sock, like so, like that. Oh, they fit, they fit. Part my hair like in half. So you take the sock like this and we're gonna wrap it under like this. This is literally gonna look crazy, but it's fine. It's part of the process, babes. Like my 18th attempt, but I will get it. Okay, that's pretty secure. That's actually hella tight. Okay, do the exact same thing with this piece of hair. We're gonna go like that, like so, like that, and that is supposed to be the hair. Whether that holds or not, we'll see. She like wraps it in a scarf and like does some other shit, but like, I'm not gonna do all that because I'm very weird about how I sleep. Like even honestly, I don't even know if, I don't even know if I can sleep in this, to be honest. I feel like this will work better than the other thing which is, also this is much easier for me personally. This thing doesn't work that well for me or I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I just feel like it doesn't work on my hair. I don't know why. To lay in bed, probably start editing this video. Maybe watch some George Lopez or Friends. I need a new, give me like a good nighttime show. I swear I've watched everything. I might rewatch My Wife and Kids. It's been years since I've watched that one, but I swear I've literally watched everything. You guys made it all the way to the end. Give me your like favorite nighttime show that you like. I love y'all and happy Vlogmas Day 1. This one is probably so long, way longer than these are gonna be. These are gonna be probably like 10 minutes and this one is probably a little bit longer than that. So anyways, love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow.